D.C. leaders are announcing the next steps for a brand new stadium for D.C. United. Mayor Vincent Gray, Mayor-elect Muriel Bowser, and D.C. Council members held a news conference at the Washington Convention Center ahead of the final vote. Our John Gonzalez has the very latest. We've seen the renderings, the drawings. We know the location is Buzzard Point over near Nationals Park. It's the financing that has been the missing link. Well, after nearly a decade, the wait for Soccer Club DC United is almost over. Of course, last week, the City Council voted unanimously to approve plans to build that 20,000 seat stadium in Southwest. Well, today, the outgoing mayor, future mayor, and city council members have gathered here at the convention center to announce the next step. Essentially, the council and mayor putting aside their differences and deciding to move forward to fully fund the D.C. soccer stadium only. There was talk with this financial package to include other development. Well, this will be D.C. soccer stadium only, an exciting and long-awaited venue for a team and a sport growing in popularity. The team has pl played in the quickly decaying RFK Stadium since the late 90s. So the city will fork over as much as $150 million. D.C. United will pay about the same for construction. We are in a very responsible way investing uh, at, at Buzzard Point, uh, making a home for our soccer team and creating uh, jobs and opportunities for D.C. residents and businesses. And I'm looking forward to a clean vote uh, next week. So this funding agreement comes just in time before next Wednesday's final vote by the city council. The plan, the hope, is to have soccer at that stadium in 2017. In Northwest Washington, John Gonzalez, ABC 7 News.